How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video on Sunny Bay Farm. As you can tell, a few things are different here. I've got more sheep for one, a lot more sheep. Decided to get an increase from 15 to 55. I had the money and I realised that the feed was cheap. You know, they don't take much, so it's worth it. And I've got a lot of plans in the pipeline. I also have changed the grass on the game. Um, I've, I like this grass, it was a mod originally, so I just put it into the Sandy Bay map just because I think it looks a bit more full and rich. It's, it's only a trial but I just like the way it looks personally. The grass looks a lot better, even in the small little clumps like in here. Yeah, it looks really nice. So, my plan is, I'll have to show you on the map. So, what I'm thinking of doing is hay. I've only technically got two hay meadows. I want to increase my capacity for hay. So, I'm going to buy 28, 29, and 30 for hay. So that'll be five small fields for hay. I also have fields one and two that I use for arable. They are going to be fallow next season. I've come up to the point in my rotation where if I carry on growing it, I'll decrease my yield. So I'm going to make them fallow and I want to also buy five, six and 41 and then plant arable in them fields whilst these two are fallow and then obviously going forward we can have all five fields for arable which will boost the income so to do this we need to obviously get a lot of money so what I want to do today is I want to buy some chickens get some income coming from the eggs because they're cheap um, they're cheap to buy and we may as well do it because then we've got technically everything on this farm and then I'm going to do another contract I'm thinking of doing a fertilising contract. There is some baling ones on there, but I've not long done a baling contract, so I think I'm going to go for a different style. So field 22, 15,000, not bad. And also, I could do a couple more here. It'd bring myself, you know, around the 20,000 mark. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to do it, and I'm going to borrow the item because it's a big fertiliser. It'll be a lot quicker to do. I've got fertilizer here, I can use some of that up. I'm using a lot of slurry and manure, so it makes sense to use it up now as, as I bought it. So, so I'll set that going. That's all done. Well, first I'll buy the chickens, and then obviously get them the feeds that they require. I mean, how can that be free? You can get a chicken for free. Makes no sense. I'll just go with the 51, with the rooster. I'll have to buy some chicken feed. I'll bring it in. I've also put a shed in down here. Nice little thing. Store some bales for the sheep. And I've obviously got my attachments. And also I can use that just to go across there and clean the chickens out pick some pallets up for them. It's all looking good. Right, so let's get some chicken feed. Right, I'm back. I've picked up the two solid fertilizer bags that were down here and the three chicken feed bags that we just bought. On the way down here to pick these up, I brought these three liquid fertilizer pallets down to fill up the fertilizer spreader for the contract. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly jump this back up there. So I'm back at the farm with the chicken feed, ready to feed them. No me, they'll get through all this and then we'll have to come up way up with making the wheat and barley. I think I've got a bit of barley. Or wheat, one of the two anyway I've got a little bit of. So if this doesn't 
isn't enough. We've got enough to feed him for a little bit. Oh, that's, that's works pretty nicely. Oh. Ah, so it's a thousand. So that's three days worth. So yeah, they're looking really happy. So I've got sheep now, chickens, and obviously my milkers. I'm still a dairy farm, but you've got to have a big range of animals. Right, so I thought I'd just say that I've got a problem with the spray rate. It's fertilising the field, but it's not taking any of the fertiliser away from me. Now I've checked if that's something I'm doing wrong or or whatever, but I have got the adjustable spray rate mod that can adjust, basically adjust spray rate of like fertilisers, manure, slurry, anything like that. Now I've checked and that's set to normal. I've triple checked, it's not that. so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this one, collect the money, and then I'll unload the fertilizer. But I won't do another one because I could just abuse this now.
Right then, so that's that done. I mean, it did say that I finished the contract quite a bit before the actual field was complete, but we've got to finish it off. I know there looks like there's a few bits that I've missed as well, but checking on the map, it says that I fertilised the whole field, so if it didn't say that, I'd go and finish them little bits off, but I mean, I'm alright with them. They're, they're not too bad, are they? But yeah, not too bad at all. I mean, it's a massive field, this is. 20 acre. Let's have a look what he's growing in here. Let's do notes. 600,000. I mean, paying 470 odd for these three, I think it was. I could just get another field. That's 490. I could just get field 20 instead. Hmm. Something to think about. Twelve thousand in the bank, and we've littered the farmer's field. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.